Alright guys, here we are back for part two. And uh oops, sorry about that. And so this part is gonna be doing another couple layers of the mansion. So yeah, if you haven't seen part one, you guys should probably go check that one out. So, first thing that we're gonna do again, bring up the dark wood. In my first video we did everything that's here so far, so uh yeah, go watch that before you watch this, because it probably won't make sense. I'm gonna have to sleep in a second. But uh yeah. Here we go. Uh, this layer is almost identical to the other ones, uh, like below, like on the first floor. Except, like, obviously not the balcony, because that's, like, a new thing, even. But, uh, yeah. So, pretty much, as you can see, glass. You want glass there. And then it does still follow that, uh, rule of glass on each side of the dark wood. And then I'm gonna go to sleep in a second. And then, yeah, there's a glass in the middle there, a glass in the middle there, um, a glass between the planks, a glass right there, and then, but except for one little thing, change here. On the bottom one, it just had that five glass right there. Here it's going to be broken with a cobblestone. And, all right, just let me go to sleep. I don't want to be building in the dark. You guys don't want to watch that, do you? Do you? No. Probably no. It's all dark. What's the fun in that? Um so yeah, let's bring the planks up now. But anyway, um yeah, about this world. Um this is the flat world that I'm just using, just some a random flat world that I had on my hard drive, but uh another flat decorated world. I'll give I'll give the link in the description. You guys can go check that out and download that if you want. It's part of my flat map pack with over like 28 maps or something. There's like creative and survival versions, and then yeah. There, there's a map identical to this. This might even be it, but I don't know. So yeah. Anyway, um, after this, this is pretty similar as you can even see from this view. How it's starting to be pretty much like the first floor, except for the balcony. I'll give you a little like go around the mansion so far. See how it's starting to be the same. But, uh, yeah. So, let's go to the next layer after this. We only have a couple more layers of bringing up the dark wood. And this layer is one of them. So we need to bring up the dark wood here. And then, you know, pretty much, again, this is almost identical to the last layer. Except for the fact that you put, uh, cobblestone over this glass on the balcony. But otherwise, cobblestone on top of cobblestone, planks on top of planks, and glass on top of glass. Um, that's pretty much all I can say. I don't know what else to say about this layer. This layer is pretty easy. Oh my god, except for the fact that I suck at building. I always get, like, everything wrong. Not wrong, I just, like, misplaced stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, so, here we go. We're, like, getting there. Almost done, kind of. Not really, kind of. Getting there. Alrighty, and are we done? A little glass here. But yeah, anyway, uh, okay, so this is what your mansion should look like so far, I believe. Wait a second, wait a second, I messed up on one point. This dark wood here is supposed to be cobblestone. You're finally not bringing up the dark wood for one point, so that on the balcony, that dark wood right up in there, you can't see from this angle. This is supposed to be cobblestone, not dark wood. So you bring up the dark wood in all the other areas, but just not right there. In fact, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. one second, one second, one second. All right, so now we're going to be starting on the balcony roof. This is where it gets annoying, and a lot of people get frustrated because they can't do it. I mean, like, that's me included, too. I suck at doing this, the roof part. There are just a couple rules, and if you remember them, and you go by them, and, like, some of them, you probably already know them, but... So, basically, we're gonna do the roof just kind of going around this little balcony area right now. So, you're gonna want to put wood blocks in the corners, then the stairs, then a slab right there, and then stairs. And I'm just gonna explain something that's probably gonna help you out in the future. 
So, with this mansion, the way it works is when stairs go around a corner, you're going to want to use a slab, like, for the outside of the corner. And then, like, say if I put a stair there, when stairs go around a corner, you're going to want to put a block on the inside of the corner. And then you'd put a slab there. Like, if, if you know what I mean, like, so that's just an example, because when it's going around a corner like that, and you need to fill the outside of the corner, you put a slab. But if you need to fill the inside of a corner, you put a block. So that's just, that's an easy way to explain this that's going to cause a lot of you guys to not get mad as much. So, yeah, pretty much. That's how, that's how it works. But, uh, after you do that, you're going to need to do another layer of the balcony roof. So, this next layer is pretty easy, and then here's another rule too. When there's slabs, and you're doing just like basic extending the roof diagonally, slabs go diagonal from slabs like that, and it works the same with blocks. If, like there's prop there might be like a block right here. Like right, 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 never mind, it's good. But uh, yeah. So now this part is like a little bit odd. It doesn't really work exactly the way. Normally you'd want to put a block there, but you don't. You put it this way, just for normal aesthetic purposes. And then you just want to fill in that back with, area with blocks. Now it looks kind of weird with, uh, with all wood. But, uh, because you can't really, like, tell the difference between the stairs sometimes. But if you kind of get the idea, then you kind of get the idea, and it kind of is good. So, that's the second balcony layer. So now we're going to start on the actual roof layer, kind of. You want to add, now for this next layer, now we're going back to kind of the normal layer idea. So, we are now done with extending the dark wood. Like, is that's just awesome, isn't it? So now pretty much you want to put cobblestone on top of that window right there. And then cobblestone on top of this window right here. And then everything else planks. All around the entire thing, everything else planks. See, I'm just horrible. I misplace things. It's because I try and go too fast. But, uh, yeah, so pretty much next layer, everything else is planks. Now, I don't know if I'm going to finish the tutorial in this video. It looks like I will. looks like I will. I'll do interior decorating in a third video for decorating the actual interior of it. So, now we're going to be moving on to the, uh, the next roof layer. This is where things, once again, they start to get a little bit complicated. And some people decide to get mad and rage. But, uh... Yeah, so look, um, we're going to be putting stairs along this wood layer here. But first, let's start out uh, doing the little roof here. So you're going to want to extend stairs kind of like this. Go one more out. And then you're going to want to do the same thing here. So just put like a stair there. And then go one more stair out. This is useful to have flying on if you're in creative or whatever. Uh, or if you just have fly mod. Whatever. And then, you know... So yeah, that's what, it's going to be kind of weird right here, because this isn't going to follow the rules. But otherwise, the rules are pretty basic, the rules that I explained just a couple minutes ago. So look, we're going on, around a corner on the outside, you just put a slab. It's that simple. There are some exceptions, and I'll show you when there are, there are exceptions, and hopefully I'll state that this is an exception to the, the roof rule. But, uh, I might not. <laughs> so you have to pay attention for yourself. No, you pretty much, yeah, it's pretty basic, it's pretty basic right now. You just kind of, and then, but see here, once again, normally you just go like, you know, whatever, like this. And then put that there, no, because we're doing the special way back here. So this is an exception to the rule once again. So you go like that, and then over here, you go like this. And then, actually, you don't put that one there. Because these ones right here, you extend them. And then you put a block, since it's the inside of a corner. So I know that this gets kind of confusing, and if you do the roof a little differently, and it still looks good, then congratulations, but, uh, yeah, whatever. If you're good at roofs, roofs is kind of a skill that you need to have. You don't need to have, but either way. So look, I'll give you guys kind of a couple different views of this. Um, I don't really know how to explain it any better, but, uh... Yeah, those last stairs, the stairs that were odd, that you normally would have put that way, they actually now go and extend that way, and then block since it's on the inside of a corner. And so, yeah, that's it for that layer, right there. And now just let me, uh, now we're going to be working on the next layer. One second. Something just happened.
yeah all right so now it's gonna be kind of the same thing here this is just kind of like an exception it's almost like a new rule for this particular build but uh... I wanna put the stairs like that pretty basic stuff I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do the exact same thing here what is this? oh it's like a jungle biome nice whatever yeah no this is definitely not my map then whatever sorry distractions 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 and you wanna do that and then pretty basic you go all the way around here and then remember the other rule I told you guys where a slab when you're just no, most of the time it'll just go diagonal to another slab same thing works for the full blocks in roofing at least okay since I'm just a horrible person builder just let me go back and fix this but yeah so you just kinda add another one like that and then you see slab diagonal go to slab so alright so now uh... kind of difficult not really so look once again here we go see here's an example of the block one block go diagonal block in roofing at least and then you want to bring this around and then so yeah see look block diagonal of block sun is setting again oh my goodness let's try and go to sleep come on I can sleep now it's night it's night come on come on when is it considered night? Watch this. When is it considered night? When the sun touches the horizon? Yes. Nice. Aha, the bed is occupied. Aha, when I right click. I know that's like a common glitch, but whatever. So now what you want to do is you want to put it uh, for the next layer up here. Just put some wood blocks there. Well, I guess this kind of counts as the layer that we just did. But it's assisting us in this layer. And you want to put stairs there and stairs there. And then you're kind of connecting this little exceptional area. So this kind of little exceptional area right here is kind of done. Well, not kind of done. It is done. Which is pretty nice. Because it's annoying to do. So now this next area, this next everything is pretty much just basic uh, roofing rules. I talk about the rules of roofing a lot. See, and then once again, slab, slab, diagonal, slab. And then, I like to crouch because it's more preci precise and, you know, don't like, mess up as much. But then you, like, go up and down the stairs. It's just annoying. And I'm just going to fly. Yeah, that works because then I don't walk up or down the stairs. Since I'm, like, technically flying right now. And then, once again, slab, slab. Diagonal slab. I hope I'm explaining this stuff clear enough. I'm often like a horrible explainer, but uh, yeah. So, um, this is gonna oh 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 be careful. And then so yeah, this even works here with the block rule. How there's gonna be a block here, because then it is the inside of a corner. Sorry for being so silent. I just I don't have anything to say at the moment. I'm trying to concentrate on roofing. That's interesting, that biome over there. So now you guys might have noticed that it's kinda weird and you don't really know what to do next, or like maybe you kinda do, but since there's this new square left, it's as if it's a new section of the roof. Since uh like this part is has ended. So I don't know, whatever, whatever. You just follow me. You're gonna put blocks since this is this one rectangle right here. You're gonna put blocks here, and then put slabs on top of the blocks. The blocks are just simply for the slabs, but it doesn't matter. And now this is pretty basic. You put stairs like that, and then since the slab is already on the corner and it already works with the diagonals, it works. And then you can just keep going. You don't fail. Oh, that was nice. I did quite a bit there. And yeah, basic stuff that you've been doing this whole time. 
And then, as you notice here, like, there was no slab right here. It was stairs. That's why this is a little bit messed up right here. But, uh, it's kind of like another rule exception to roofing. But yeah, those roofing rules that I've been talking about, if you guys just follow them, you will make nice roofs. Legit. Roofs. Roofs. So, see, so we're almost done on the outside. And then I'll make another video for interior design. So now, same thing. You go and you put blocks in the corners. And then you put slabs on top of them. And then, just the last little bit after this layer is going to be a little bit of an annoying layer to do. It's gonna be it. And then obviously this is just like a one block side right there, a one stair side. Well no, this is an annoying an annoying layer to do. What am I saying after this? Um still pretty easy, it's just a little bit different, obviously. Well there's pretty much two ways that you can go. So now there's two things that you can do right here. Now you're gonna need to fill this in with wood blocks either way. But now, if you want, you can either just leave that, or you can add slabs on top of it. I like to add slabs on top of it, since it makes the roof more pointy. Tiny, tiny, tiny little difference, but if you don't have enough slabs for it, then it's no big deal. So, anyway, this is the mansion so far, and it is looking very nice. Let me do a little fly around of it. So, yeah, in the next video, we're going to be doing interior design within the mansion. And I'm just going to show some ideas and some things that I do in them. And the uh, recommended things by Leo Stereo. So anyway, um, Leo Stereo is the guy who made the tutorial and who kind of invented this mansion. This mansion, if you can say that.